Uh, how, well, like, what's the first step if I'm driving to work and I'm like, man, I'm, I'm kind of stuck? If you, you're driving to work and you feel you're kind of stuck, you have to think of something that you want to do. You just don't want to jump out there and do something because somebody else is doing it. You have to be passionate about it. Do your due diligence. Find out why it is that you want to do it. Find out who your market is. You know what I'm saying? Um, for whatever product or for whatever it is that you want to do. Me, I've always been a hustler. I grew up in a single parent home. And um, I, although my mother, you know, she did pretty well with us and being on Section 8 and, and food stamps, I knew it was more out there beyond what we was living. And I didn't know exactly what it was at that time. But I've worked since I was 14 years old. I've always been a hard worker. So I'm just out here getting it. I'm an author. I have a hair business. I do mm. real estate. Mm. I have my bachelor's degree. I have my master's. Like, you know, so I don't have no time for negativity. I'm just out here trying to get it. Oh. I can. can you say, can you it. say that, you know, uh, women think that, that some women that don't think there's more than food stamps and stuff like that. Because we got a lot of people that sell a lot of food stamps in Philadelphia. Oh, no. Nah, listen. Of, listen. <laughs> listen. There's nothing wrong with food stamps. Listen. That's... We, I grew up on that, and, and I have to clarify that because sometimes people are like, oh, I said it last year on Love & Hip Hop. I said, you know, me growing up on Section 8 made me want not to grow, not to have Section 8 when I grew up. And it wasn't nothing bad with that. I'm just saying it motivated me to want to have more only because we were having inspections. They would tell us how many rooms we could have because my mother only had two girls. I don't like restrictions, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that was the only reason, but there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with, you know. Little stamps. I'm trying to find me a car yeah, right now. Because I'm like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Who, who's selling them? Oh, man? Wow. <laughs> person and tell you guys, hey, start, start working, start, starting your portfolio, start your house. Don't wait, don't wait. But I have to explain that a lot more. As Juju said in the video, you have to have a plan, but you also have to dream. So I got, I know you guys are dreaming about buying a house. I know you guys are dreaming about building that portfolio of that million dollars or hundred thousand dollars but you need the plan in action you can't just quit your job and then have no plan because how are you paying your bills how are you going to sustain your life so have the dream and have the plan to go behind it i don't want you guys to get stuck on just getting all this knowledge getting this information that you guys fail to start so you need to start but you need to have some kind of background on what you're going to do she says know your audience that's like the first thing she says. So you know who you're targeting with your marketing. As you guys know, if you read the One Page Marketer book that I recommend that you do read, in it he talks about finding your audience first. The same thing Juju is telling you. And the reason why is because when you market, you can market to everyone. If you cast out a wide net of fishes, you might catch a few, but you might not catch that shark that you're looking for. Or if you're looking for tuna, you might not catch the tuna. So you guys need to narrow down what you're focusing on. Who is your ideal customer? Get that image in your head of your ideal customer and just target that. So if you don't have a big marketing budget, now you don't need $100,000. You can do it with $100 because you know who your ideal customer is. So if you only get one, it's one customer that you actually want and need for your business. This is how you create massive growth and success from doing little bits of marketing. She also says, do not jump off the bridge without a plan. Like I said before, a lot of times I tell you guys, start, just become entrepreneur, do this, do this, do this, but you don't have a plan in place. And if you jump without the plan, you have no parachute. You're going to fall and sink in the water, whatever's underneath you. If it's ground, you're hitting the ground. And it's not for everyone. It's very dangerous. And yes, I've done it. 100%. I jumped off, didn't have a full plan, and it cost me a lot of thousands of dollars of mistakes, learning, bumps, and bruises, but it was dangerous. And I don't re recommend that for everyone. Sometimes you need to just kick and then boom, figure out as you go. That's my model. But it's not for everyone. I have to keep repeating that because I don't want you guys to say, hey, Malcolm, you told me to jump. I did it. My business failed, and now I'm homeless. So I want you guys to have some kind of plan, some kind of audience on what you're targeting, what you're going to do. What kind of business do you even want to start? Like, you need to know that. You can't just say, hey, I'm going to become an entrepreneur and don't know what business you're starting. Now, another thing about being an entrepreneur that makes it so hard is you have to have a why. Because in this business, you go through a lot of days where you're depressed, you're down, you're sad. You just don't know what to do. You start wondering, is this for me? Should I just stuck with my nine to five? Why am I doing this? So a good, a, good, a good way to figure it all out is to have a strong why. Write down your reasons now on why you want to be successful, on why you're doing this entrepreneurship, or why you're doing this side hustle that's creating a new 9 to 5 for you. Or you can do it while you're still doing a 9 to 5. I still work. 
it's not a bad thing to work and still work on your passion, your dreams, and your goals until it equals up or it's more than what you're bringing in from your other job. Keep it. Keep it. Be a nine-to-five side hustler. Like, you guys have no excuses on not to start, on reasons why not to start, and not having a strong enough why. Because if you're at my channel, you have a why. Because you're watching this content. This content is great geared for people who want more for their lives. So if you're watching this, I know you have a strong why. You just have to write it down and explain it to yourself. Because there's going to be a lot of naysayers that say, hey, you can't do this. It's not for you. Or you shouldn't do this. And anytime that happens, you need to look down on yourself and remember your why. That's why I say write it down. So when things are bad, you can go back. December 4th, I said that I'm going to be a millionaire. And this is why I'm doing it for my mom. I'm doing it for my children. I'm doing it for my generational kids that I might not even see your grandkids that you might not even be a part of at that time. But this is the reasons why you're doing this. Now, you have to be a hard worker. I always say work hard, but also work smart. Now, if you can't work hard, you can't work smart because working smart means you're looking for ways to focus on what you need to do. You're focusing on that 20%, the Pavlovich's rule, I think it's called, the 80-20 rule. So you're focusing on the 20% of things that you're going to do that directly impacts your business, and you're working hard on that. For me, it's making phone calls and relationships. That's why I spend around 20% on But I still work hard but I just work smart. I know that other 80% I can delegate and have someone else do. I can have my assistant do. That's not going to generate any income that helps my business right now and helps me increase my growth. So, guys, you have to want this. It does not come easy. That's why your why is so important. You have to want it badly. Like E.T. said, Eric Thomas, you have, to want to, you have to want to succeed as much as you want to breathe. And that's the best statement I can get to you guys. Guys, I wake up at 7 in the morning because I have a passion. Like Sometimes my alarm clock doesn't wake me up. I feel like, oh, what? I've been sleeping too long because this is my passion. This is my goal. I want to create more for my family. I want to help people. Like I really enjoy helping you. And I know you're behind the screen, you're watching me and I'm watching you, and yes, I'm talking to you, I want to help you, I want to see you succeed, I want you to become the best version of you, the you you don't even see yet, that I see in you, and I want you to bring it out, and that's why I push you guys, that's why I'm here every day giving you guys new content, giving you guys new videos, and giving you guys more motivation, because I know you can do it, and as long as one person believes in you, if I'm that only person... I'm going to help push you guys. So if you guys have comments, make sure you put it in the comment section. Tell me what's going on. Tell me how I can be more, be of more assistance to you guys. Now, what she says after that is she talks about how she owns her own business. And I tell you guys, a 9 to 5 will make you a good living, but will not create wealth. And you're saying, why not? Because you can't pass down your 9 to 5. Once you retire, you leave. You can't pass that job down. You can't tell who... You can't tell them, hi, this person, this person, this person. You can't do it because you don't own it. Owning your own business creates wealth because you can put people in places to make money now. You can tell them, hey, I have a job for you. Do this. You can give your son the CEO position because you own it. She also mentions real estate. And guys, every millionaire, I'm telling you, billionaires, millionaires, multi-millionaires, they all have one thing in common. They all own real estate. And the reason why is because most people, the average person, over 80% of them get their wealth through real estate. That's why I'm telling you guys, you have to start somewhere. And if you're going to start anywhere, start with a why, a plan, your audience, but get real estate. It's going to create money for you. It's going to create something that you can pass down. It's going to create passive income. Even if it's only a single family house, it's your house. You own it. And that, that joy of ownership creates a pride in you and you start walking different. You guys start feeling different and it's going to create more passion and more drive in you. And it's not only going to show you it's possible, it's going to show your kids that, oh wow, mom and dad did that? They bought that? We've been living in an apartment since I can remember, now they bought a house? And we're going to normalize black wealth. We're going to normalize wealth, not even for black people, for everyone. I want the middle class, I want it to be normal for the middle class to have a house. I want it to be normal for people to say, come to my house. Are you listening to me? Because a lot of times we say, oh, come to my apartment. Come to my projects. No, I want it to be normal for you to have a house. If you don't have one, you're going to be the first person in your family to do it. Now, I'm going to help you why. I'm going to help you why? Because I enjoy it. And I'm going to show you how to do it. That's what this channel is about. Breaking generational curses. 
She said, focus on positivity and not negativity. This also ties around with the people you're around. If you're around a lot of people who are giving you constant negativity, it's going to draw your energy down. This is why I said write down your why earlier because when you feel your energy getting drained and that negativity, it starts attacking on you. And what happens is negativity draws more negativity towards it. So you start wondering about all this other stuff that you have no business thinking about right now. Focus on what you can control. So if you can control not being around negative people, control it. Why hang out with them? They're not bringing anything to benefit your life. Then what's the point of them being in your life? Being in your, your, being in your aura, your presence, is a present. So if they don't deserve that, why are you giving them that gift? You're allowing them to take your positivity, your blessings away from you because you want to hang out with people who have nothing better to offer you than to take from you. So start hanging around people who want to put blessings in your life, who want to show you more, who want to help create that abundance of joy that God put it forth for you. Let's stop hanging around people who are going to just drain us of our joy, our blessings, the things that we worked hard for, the things that your brain is trying to create. God speaks to us in dreams and through voices. And a lot of times we don't understand the people he's putting in our lives, but they're here for a reason. And the reason could be to benefit you and to create more success for you, but you're too busy focusing on Joe who wants to tell you to go shoot up the place or rob places or just talk bad about other people. And then you know what God starts saying? Like, I'm trying to give you blessings and you want to focus on talking about other people? You want to focus more on this negativity? Why would I want to keep helping you? Why would I want to keep putting blessings in your life? So we hurt our own blessings by being around people we don't need to be around. I'm going to repeat that. We hurt our own blessings because we're around people we don't need to be around. So guys, focus on you. Focus on people who want to see you do better. Focus on that positivity. Don't let the circumstances that you see now control your future. She also says this, and this is the last thing I'm going to say. She said, use the Roblox. Roblox road bumps and blocks that you're going through as motivation. She talks about how she was on food stamps growing up and that was normal. A lot, of, a lot of us were on it, especially growing up in the projects. We see food stamps, we see EBT cards, and that's normal. It's normalized. It's normalized to live in an apartment. That doesn't mean that's what you should aim for just because everyone else is doing it. Why not aim for more? Why not let those things that you've seen push you for more? Don't let that set you as a, oh, it's all right, everyone is on EBT, everyone lives in an apartment, everyone lives in a project. Why should you? If you know you have the ability to do more, which we do know because as we know, the creator created all of us equally and as an image of himself. So if someone else can do it, that means you can do it. So if you know that you have the ability to do more and to be more, why limit yourself? And that's why I tell you guys, it's about the people you hang around. Hang around people who are doing more so you can see like, hey, I came from that. I don't want to live that. Let me, let me hang around these people. These people who are talking about black wealth, who's talking about real estate, talking about stocks, talking about bonds, and talking about creating more. And that's what I want for you guys. So let the roadblocks that you fail, that you go through, let that be motivation on why you should push forward. Let that be motivation on how to create more success. Fill those bumps. Understand them and go through them. Don't cry. Well, we're all going to cry. Sometimes it just happens. You can't control it. Sometimes life is hard. But don't let it stop you. Let that be a little more push. Like, okay, you know what? There's only so many no's you can go through before you get a yes. There's only so much pain you can go through before the sun comes out. Guys, I, I keep saying guys. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the female viewers out there, I apologize. Our guys, it just comes naturally. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, put in the comment section. Let me know if you guys want, if the ladies and gentlemen, the people out there, if you want more of these videos, because I'm going to keep giving it to you. The motivation, the stocks, the bonds, the real estate, the Airbnbs, everything. I'm giving it to you. I'm giving you everything I have. If you didn't know, this is The Real Mr. Marcel, a.k.a. your favorite loan officer. Boom! Have a wonderful day, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe. If you're interested in learning more about real estate or mortgages, check out the other videos on my channel.